So, because we're on our last city, ah. we're in Krakow. Yeah, we thought it would be a good idea to film some reflections of our ship. The food has been really good. We've had a lot of different food. We've had a lot of Asian food. We've had some local food. Some. And mostly like pretzels. Yeah, but it was yummy. Yummy pretzels. Mostly brandy. We've had a lot of local alcohol. Yeah. That's when we say we've had local food, that's what we That's mean. probably what we mean. It's been really fun making the videos. Like, having to film and get content and do research. More fun than I thought it would be. Yeah. Like I always had watched like travel vloggers and been like, this is fucking stupid. Like, why are you guys doing this? Um, and it gives it's us been something fun. to do, like on buses and like when we have free time, we get to just. Yeah, like edit and it's it's a good time. And it's been fun to see people's comments and to watch people watch us film like we are right now. Yeah, we have some tourists watching us right now, it's always fun. It's been fun to have other like backpackers, there's a few backpackers, not a lot of people are traveling right now which is, has been really nice and we'll make another little comment on yeah. that. But everybody who's all seen the us. other backpackers are like, what vlog are you with? And we're like, Facebook. <laughs> They're like, oh, do you have like a channel? Like, can we vlog? It's like, to the point where at one point we were like, we should try to get Teen Vogue to publish us. Yeah. And then we never, we never sent that. But like, we filmed a video. We did film a video. We um, see it in the bloopers. Yeah. Um. What else? Another thing that's been really fun has been uh, doing like history of these places. Yeah. Like I had fun researching. I look like a bumpkin. <laughs> I had fun learning. Um, we've had a lot of fun just walking around in these cities and like exploring it. Yeah, and like having fun doing it. So basically what we've done here is not had a plan or like we had an itinerary of what buses we were taking and where we were staying but besides that we had no real plan of where we, what we were going to go, what we were going to see and then we had research on the history of the country so sometimes we had like oh I'd like to see something to do with this yeah, but never an actual place which is, has been really fun. It's been really good so we have like a it's just been chill and we get to do what we want to do and don't have to do everything and we're both a little compulsive so we make sure that we like actually do stuff yeah which was which works and we know that we have to film things so we have to have things to film yeah for example after this we're going to the palace yeah here in Krakow and we're like we need that for content it's for content it's for content um, and what else? We've also had a fun time, like, talk we'll have parts of the trip that we just, like, don't film. Like, we got to Krakow yesterday at noon, haven't filmed anything. anything. Which is nice, so we get to, like, just appreciate where we are. part of it where we just, like, go eat and, like, walk around without worrying about what we're filming. Yeah, just nice. We've met a lot of really amazing people on this trip. Um, yeah, cool locals, some backpackers and stuff, they were yeah. kind of lame, but... Like, random people on buses from, like, not even necessarily from, like, around here, but, like, for instance, we, like, met some, like, Austrian filmmaker on one of our bus. Yeah, and we met a cool, we met, remember that mom and that daughter on the bus yeah. in Kosovo? Yeah. Who were, like, so funny. I we met a cool guy from Kosovo as well, who was coming back from a Halloween party. So he still had like his Halloween makeup on, oh God, it was so was fun. fun. He gave us a flashlight. He gave us a flashlight, it was cool. Um, um, like random people that we've kind of just met along the way, it's been really nice. People who are like doing hikes and traveling. Um, there's a lot of, been a lot of like mining. People don't, yeah. Or, but another thing I've noticed is that people here, speak English for their field so like versus in France if you, you either speak fluent English or you speak none and like that's a complete difference yeah here you either like people everybody speaks it to a certain extent yeah like, yeah everybody's able to hold a conversation about what you need to do or somebody else is willing to help what a good trip it's been a really good trip like 
I don't know. We were we were very we were under the impression that it would be like cold and kind of grimy and people kept being really like mean about this part of the world. Yeah, like people were talking shit. Yeah, people we have one friend who called it the armpit of Europe. Yeah. This is definitely not the armpit of Europe. And I think you could make beautiful. the argument that England is the armpit of Europe, but that's just, let's not get too controversial on here. Um, Maybe I just like food too much. I, I agree. <laughs> um, but there's so much like cultural diversity in all the places. It's beautiful, like the buses. I was like, oh no, we have to take too many buses. But going through the countryside. Our worst bus was a million times better than I expected any yeah. of them to be. Yeah. They're like, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And we paid like so little for this trip. Like I don't think people understood that of when we told them what this trip was because- We've been sleeping we've, on buses. We've been like, sleeping on buses. We've been buying cheap food. It's been so nice. Also things are just cheap here in general, so it's perfect. Um, we get free shit. People gave us like free shit, which is nice. Um, it's just kind of worked out in our favor. It's been like a cheap, beautiful trip. Yeah. I want to come back here and I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave at all. Great. We have 12 hours of class tomorrow. 